Welcome to the Magic Switch Restroom Kit installation tutorial. The Magic Switch Restroom Kit is available in single gang or double gang, with or without a power supply. The 10MSRR DGPS includes the 10PSRR power supply, a pre-wired BR3X system and a UL294 listed cabinet, with color-coded labels for quick and safe installation. The kit also includes two MS42DO wave-to-open actuators, one 10MS42DL wave-to-lock actuator, three 10MS box DGSM double gang magic switch surface mount boxes, and one 50.5283 door position switch. The 10MS RRD touchless restroom kit features double gang actuators and swaps the power supply cabinet for a 10BR3X logic module. The 10MS RR SGPS touchless restroom kit features single gang actuators and includes the power supply cabinet. The 10MSRRS Touchless Restroom Kit features single gang actuators and swaps the power supply cabinet for a 10BR3X logic module. In this video, we will be installing the 10MSRR DGPS. Holding the power supply cabinet in the desired location, mark the mounting holes and then drill pilot holes. Insert wall anchors if necessary and then fasten screws 75% into the anchors. Place the cabinet over the protruding screws to secure the cabinet to the wall. Secure the cabinet screws after routing necessary harness from the wall. For the door position switch, determine mounting location on the door frame and then mark the mounting holes. Mount the switch to the frame. Test the functionality of the switch. Align the magnet with the switch, then mount the magnet to the door. Wire the door position switch to the power supply cabinet. See the user guide for specific terminal location. Refer to the system wiring diagram if necessary. Mount the electric strike according to the manufacturer's instructions. The appropriate electric strike should be chosen for your application. A public, single occupancy restroom should require a fail-safe electric strike, meaning without power, the electric strike is unlocked. When used in conjunction with a storeroom function lever, this will allow a completely touchless system. A normally locked single occupancy restroom, like a staff restroom or restroom that requires permission to enter, will require a fail-secure electric strike, which requires power to lock. Wire the electric strike to the power supply cabinet. The power supply cabinet is pre-wired to use the wet output functionality of the BR3X. When DC wet output is selected, the common terminal is positive 
and the ground is switched between normally open and normally closed. Refer to the user guide and system wiring diagram for more instructions. Since all door activation control circuits are normally open, the control activation can be wired to relay two of the BR3X module, normally open to and common to, which will always be the circuit for door activation. Ensure that the two interior actuators are spread at least 12 inches apart, measured center point to center point to avoid radar interference. Install the mounting box using the pilot hole locations. Do not drill outside of the pilot hole locations. If a wire conduit is required, you may also use any of the pilot hole locations. To achieve an IP65 rating, you must apply silicone to any drilled holes. Why are the actuators? The LED control input on the MS42 switch has a dry contact input that can be used to control LED behavior, indicating the occupied and locked status of the restroom to the end user. Refer to the user guide and system wiring diagram for more information. Verify that all actuator dip switches are set to off and that the potentiometer is in a fully counterclockwise position. This setup allows fine tuning of the MS42 sensor settings using the BEA remote control to meet application and accessibility needs. Complete the actuator assembly as shown and mount the actuator to the box. Apply the wall decals above the wave to lock actuator if necessary or if required. Repeat the steps for the wave to open actuator. Repeat the steps for the exterior wave to open actuator. Apply the wall decal if necessary or if required. Wire the actuators to the power supply cabinet. See the user guide for specific terminal locations. Refer to the system wiring diagram if necessary. Finalize the power supply wiring and grounding. Be sure that the BR3X wet-dry jumpers available at Relay 1 are set appropriately for your application before applying power to the system. Never change the jumper settings when the module has power connected to it or when a load is applied. 
Never allow two different voltage sources to be connected to the load at the same time. This can result in serious damage to equipment. Always move both jumpers when changing a jumper set. If an electronic locking device is being powered by a power source other than the BR3X, do not select the wet output option on the BR3X. If wet is selected, the next activation of the module will send a voltage to the load, and if there is already a voltage being applied from another source, the BR3X and possibly the load will be permanently damaged. When using the wet output option on the BR3X, set all desired switch positions before the module is powered and before any loads are applied. When DC wet output is selected, common terminal is positive and the ground is switched between normally open and normally closed. Ensure that there is no other voltage connected to the load. Whenever the input voltage is at the BR3X, the output will correspond. After all wiring has been verified, apply power to the system. Following power on, check functionality for all actuators. If adjustments are needed, remove the faceplate from the actuator by using a flathead screwdriver to loosen the assembly at the top or bottom set of snap fittings. This allows access to the PCBA in order to make adjustments to dip switches and the potentiometer. See these programming components for necessary settings for the restroom applications. See the user guide for more settings and available parameters that are accessible via remote control. The BR3X is defaulted to the 00, zero function. Based on the restroom application, you must change this setting to either normally locked or normally unlocked. Once the BR3X function is set, select the hold time and delay time. Set the hold time for the relay or relays to greater than one second. Set the delay time to greater than a quarter of a second. Refer to the Magic Switch Restroom Kit User Guide for function and parameter descriptions, as well as how to change these settings on the BR3X Logic Module. Once installation is complete, be sure to secure the power supply cabinet. Test the installation of the system. Verify using the function description table in the user guide. 